So in your Excel file, uh, click on uh, file in your Excel and then click on new and then click on uh, blank workbook. So before we make any changes, let's go ahead and save this workbook as a uh, procurement uh, template procurement. So we've saved it as a procurement template. Now we can go ahead and create the worksheet. So for the first worksheet, we're going to call it uh, PO template. So this is the template that will be printed out, will be, it can be exported or emailed. Then we will have an items DB, DB standing for database. Then we have uh, a supplier DB. Then we have a, uh, a PO database, just call it PODB. So let's start first uh, with creating the tables. So let's go ahead and check our items uh, database. It only has item ID, item description, unit cost, unit of measure, in stock, value at hand. So I'm, uh, I'm not going to write them out. I'm just going to copy and paste them here. Copy and paste them here. So this is information that we are going to record for items. You can add more things. If your items have some unique identifiers or other ways you can identify them, you can add them as columns here. And then let's go ahead and let me go ahead and do the same for my for our suppliers. We'll need a supply ID, supply name, address, email, and phone. I'll just copy that over to the uh, supply ID worksheet. And then I'm going to size that as well. And then the PODB, I'm going to do the same to the PO database. Copy over the PO date, the PO number, the supply ID, the item name, the quantity, and the cost. I'm just going to insert them here. Okay. So now I have my table headers, but uh, these are not your tables. They are just uh, ranges, cell ranges that don't have. Let me zoom in a bit. So that we can see so i only have uh, the column heads but i don't have yet i don't yet have tables so in order for me to create tables out of this i will just highlight the headers and then one cell one row below that i'll come here to insert tab and then i'll click on table and then i'll click on my table has headers i'll confirm my table has headers and i'll click ok so Excel inserts a table and it gives it a name table one because it's the first table in this worksheet But we don't want to use that name. We want a name we can remember. So we are going to go ahead and uh, uh, Click inside that and call it a PODB Just the same as the worksheet the PODB Then we're going to go to our suppliers table as well and do and repeat the same procedure I'm going to select the headers and one cell below, below that, one row below that. Now a shortcut to insert a table is by holding Ctrl and T on your keyboard. Ctrl T will insert a table, but it will you have to confirm whether it has headers or not. My table has headers, yes. And then I'm going to click OK. It inserts a name, table 2, but we want a table we can remember. So supplier database or supplier DB then lastly we do the same for our items we are going to highlight the he column heads and one row below that and say a uh, control T let's use the shortcut control T and then click OK that's a name and then we are going to give it another name of items database so if you need to change the names later and you don't know how to just click anywhere inside the table and uh, click on this uh, option of table design and then you can change the name from here same for any other table just click if you are clicking outside you won't be able to but if you click anywhere inside the table whether it's a column head or any row you can change the name from there so <clears throat> next uh, we are going to design our procurement template 